Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Oop. Happy Trace Day Mayo. Um, <laughs> hi. So I always think I have like so much time to prepare and get ready and get my kids in bed and do this and um, then it boils down to it and I look down at the um, at the computer and I mean on my uh, I look at the clock and oh my gosh it's 8:30. So hi, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you here. Hi Alicia, how are you? Okay, so I'm gonna do some quick shares so we can let everybody know we're on, and then we're gonna get going. Today is Taco Tuesday, woohoo! And um, it's the week of Cinco de Mayo, so of course we're gonna honor the Cinco de Mayo gods or whatever. I hope that wasn't insulting to anybody. Um, we're gonna do tacos. <laughs> we're doing we're doing fish tacos. Hi Jana, how are you? Okay, so give me one second. I'm gonna do this. Please say hi, tell me where you're from, tell me what you're doing. Um, yeah, tell me what you're doing. Tell me where you're from. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Alicia. I'm good, I'm good. I actually had a pretty good day. Um, I've had some childcare angst recently. We've got amazing babysitters who I love and I've had since they were like 14 or 15. And they have grown up, they're 20, 22 now, three of them, they're three, it's like my own little babysitter's club it's been, they're wonderful, they're pro one of them, at least one of them is probably watching now, hi girls, um, it was like my own little babysitter's club for so many years, I would tell them what hours I needed, and somebody would just show up, and they were wonderful, and today, my last one left me, she went to Europe, my other one, two, one of them is a teacher now, one of them is, um, one of them, one of them's a teacher, one of them's an engineer, and one of them just left me for Europe. She's an art history museum, something fancy. And um, yeah, so I've had a little bit of a anxiety about what I'm gonna do about childcare, because I have five kids and I work, and you know, it's a lot. Hi, Emily, hi, Jason. Um, so, I think I found someone today, and I'm pretty excited. She's gonna start tomorrow, so woohoo! Wish me luck, cross your fingers, because you know, five kids is a lot to take on. So. Give me one second. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, like I said, I always think I have so much time before we go on, and, and I don't, I don't. I, everything's always the last minute. My kids go to bed at eight, and then it always crawls into 8.15, and then I gotta set it up real quick, and um, yeah, I'm kinda crazy. So, we're, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. We're gonna do fish tacos tonight. We're gonna try and get about a billion things done, because we made, if you, if you tuned in on, um, you tuned in on Thursday we made fresh salsa pico de gallo and totally ran out of time <laughs> we only made we were supposed to make uh, fresh salsa cilantro garlic sauce and guac and I only got through the salsa because I can't stop talking it's like a problem for me um, so so tonight we're gonna try to do the fish tacos the cilantro garlic sauce and the guac. So, you know, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. We're going to try and hustle, hustle. And I'm almost done. I promise. I'm almost done. Um, I forgot to coordinate with my assistant, so I'm not, I don't, Tuesdays are hard for her, so she's, she's not always able to do this. If you watch on um, Thursdays, I'm not usually quite so discombobulated when it comes to the computer part. Because I have good backup, but on Tuesdays she's pretty busy. So, hi. Where are you guys? Uh, am I feeling rested, Jana? Um, more so than I was last week. I was feeling pretty crummy last week. And I, for those of you who saw me pop on over the weekend, on Sunday I popped on and said hi. I was feeling pretty terrible. Um, you knew that I was feeling pretty terrible over the weekend. Uh, but I'm feeling much better. Still not, still not 100%, but getting there. Definitely getting there. Okay. I think I did all my shares. I think. I think. We'll find out. You know, if people actually show up, then we'll know that we, um, that we know that people know we're here. Which is the whole idea, right? That's the plan. Stan, the man. I don't know. This is be rhyming. Okay, good. We're gonna try. I'm gonna scoot this out of the way. Hi! How are you? Let's see. Hi, Amanda from Texas. Hey, Melissa. Woohoo! 250 people are watching. 
and I stole my my son's hat. How cute is this? Taco Republic. I don't really know what that means, but we found it at Target on the clearance aisle. I'm not actually gonna wear it because I'm not a hat person, but um, yeah, I thought that was fun. So we're gonna make fish tacos, and I um, so I linked up at the top, at the top of the show notes or whatever they're called description, and um, oh, Melissa, we can react live now. That's kind of exciting. Wow, that just that must have just rolled out because it was not available on um, Sunday. So. Hi Lisa, I'm good, thank you. So we're gonna make fish tacos and I've linked the recipe for the fish tacos, which within the fish tacos has the recipe for the cilantro garlic sauce, the guac and the pico in it, but I've also individually list those, listed those as well above just in case you only wanted to see um, one of those. I know a lot of people squirm and, eh, about fish tacos, but I promise they're really, really yummy. They're not super fishy, they're not. Um... Hi Jason, yay, I'm so excited too. Um, yeah, hi Amanda. Okay, so we're gonna make fish tacos. I'm using, I'm using whiting tonight. You can use any mild white fish. I mean, you could use any fish you want, but I generally use whiting. I buy the frozen, fresh frozen ones, and I've got it defrosting in my sink right now because I waited till the absolute last possible second. Um, and we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, they're still defrosting, so we're gonna give those another minute. And in the meantime, let's make some cilantro garlic sauce. So, like I said, I put the recipe up in the show description. Hi, Car Carolyn. I'm so glad you're on time. Hi, Greg. Hi, Jason. Okay, so we've got our lots of cilantro because I love cilantro. I actually bought three bunches this time, which is a lot of cilantro. And um, Melissa, my husband dreamt I made him fish tacos. He'll be excited. Yay. Okay. So the cilantro garlic sauce is cilantro, garlic, cream cheese, milk, and salt. Really simple. Um, I want your sink. Everybody loves my sink, you guys. The sink is from Ikea. It's like the cheapest farmhouse sink you can get, and I, I absolutely love it. Um, the biggest question is, and it was my same question when we were thinking about getting it, is how, does, how hard is it to keep clean. It is very easy to keep clean. Um, it's, I mean, it gets dirtier looking than a stainless steel sink, but not, it's not hard to get clean again. Um, soft scrub and, um, and a sponge really gets it back. I like your herbs in the window. Thank you. I've got, um, usually I do an FAQ, but I'm feeling a little bit rushed tonight. I don't know. Maybe I should slow down because it doesn't take long to cook the fish tacos, so I think I should take a breather and go through my FAQ. So we're gonna do that. Hi, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Um, if you're tuning in for the first time, I would absolutely love, love, love if you subscribed. Um, you'll be subscribing to Spaceships and Laser Beams, Stephanie's site. I, um, I do two cooking shows a week, and they are shared between my site and Stephanie's site, so if you subscribe or like the page too, for either of us, Sorry, see, I'm trying to slow down. Um, you should get a notification when we go live. Usually on iPhones and computers, the subscribe button is up here. I'm hearing lately that people are having trouble finding it. And um, I watched a live the other day that I couldn't find it anywhere. So I don't really know what to tell you. Some people say if you come back after it's over um, and look at the video, it'll show up there. In Androids, it does tend to be pretty consistent in the top of the comments. So if you scroll all the way up to the top of the comments, you should see a subscribe button there. And then when you subscribe, uh, if you like the page while you're on Facebook, a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, it'll give you a little um, notification at the top that your a page you like has come on live. And if you subscribe, um, it always gives you, well, allegedly, always. I know, Emma, right? I'm like totally out of breath today. I don't know. It's been one of those days. Um, it should always give you a, um, hi from Canada. Hi, Gail. Uh, Stephanie, whose page this is, is also from Canada. So yay, go Canada. Anyway, I'm gonna go turn the oven on because we don't wanna be waiting on the oven. And I'm gonna grab um, my cream cheese and my milk out of the, um, I'm, I'm preheating it to 425. I'm not 100% sure what it says in my recipe, but 425 will work for us tonight. Um, yeah, so those of you who are cooking with me for the first time, I don't generally measure very much on the show. Hi, Derek, thank you. Derek says I look gorgeous. I appreciate that, Derek. You all look gorgeous, by the way, all the time. I appreciate anyone who watches me is gorgeous. It's just how it is. 
Um, yeah, so I don't generally measure. I know these, these are recipes that I cook all the time, that I'm used to cooking, that I can eyeball. But I always, I, I've tested these so many times that I have, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Amanda. I always forget that um, I'm walking out of the frame and the microphone's not near me. Um, so I don't, I don't do a lot of measuring, but the measurements are in the recipes and I have gone back many times and retested them. So the measurements in the recipe should work fine. And I apologize that I do not measure on, oh, thank you, Carolyn. I appreciate, you said you like my good lip color. So it's actually a mix of two lip colors and I, it's, Maybelline 24 Berry Persistent, and then I had a, like, you know, the, the 24 hour ones tend to be a little bit dry, so I put like a red lip gloss over it. Um, so yeah, so we've got our milk. We are whole milk people. Whole milk. Got my cilantro. I'm gonna grab my cream cheese. Hope my daughter didn't eat it all, because she's a cream cheese fiend. And now, see, I walked away and I'm still talking. Okay, we've got a tub of cream cheese. Amanda says, what does your husband do? Must bring home the bacon. Oh. <laughs> no, we both work hard, but he's good. Um, my husband is a 3D computer animator. He does, you know, those accident recreations you see like in court or on TV of not, it's not always accidents, but he does a lot of accidents. Hi, Danielle. How are you? Um, hi, Trish from North Carolina. Uh, yeah, so he has a company that uh, he does 3D accident recreations and any kind of 3D recreations or modeling or, um, yeah, that's what he does. He's a he's a computer animator and mechanical engineer by education, but his his business is um, computer animations primarily. What was I looking for, you guys? Garlic. Garlic, garlic. Okay. So, while the oven is heating up for our fish... We are going to make our cilantro garlic sauce. Whole milk, yes, yay for whole milk. Whole milk's the best. I'm a hardcore whole milk girl. Hardcore. Ooh, we're not gonna use this garlic. It's Publix, Publix, shame on you. This garlic is not good. It's delicious. Ooh, well. I always buy a few things, so hopefully this one's good. Hi, Erin. Okay. Feels firm, smells good. Okay, so we got one bad garlic, but that's okay. It happens, no big deal. Uh, guys, tell me where you're tell me where you're uh, viewing from. Tell me how your week's been. I know it's only Tuesday, but for me it feels like feels like a long week already. A lot going on. Okay, so garlic, garlic. I'm gonna use let's use four cloves today. I like garlic. Okay, four cloves of garlic. Move that back over there. Um, this is just the thing. I'm going to use my um, immersion blender. This is just the one that came with it that I like. Um, it's nice. It's the right size because it came with it, right? So that would make sense. My bamboo cutting board that I always use is in the um, sink. I'm going to grab another one. I would grab it out and rinse it, but I used it for meat earlier, so I want to do a really good wash. Hi, Diane from Oregon. My mother's name is Diane. Pretty name. Okay. So I've got a, that and my big knife I probably also use, so we're going to use a smaller knife. So, 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 I'm trying to think of what to tell you guys today. So anyone who lives, hi Debbie from Vernon, Texas. Hi Kathy from Southern California. Hi Marissa. So I feel like anyone who lives within like an hour and a half or so of Ikea, hi Leah from Illinois has the two-step step stool, right? Do you guys have it? Does anybody have the step stool from Ikea, this one? This one. So we've had ours for four years running-ish now. Okay, so I've got my, this, I'm gonna pour some milk in and then I'm gonna scoop some cream cheese in. Hi, Denise from Las Vegas. Um, yeah, so we've had ours for four years running now. It's probably more milk than I need. We've had ours for four years running now. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Tara. Oh, I'm glad it's your favorite. Anyway, I keep interrupting myself. We've had ours for four years running now. And we live in Florida, so everybody's barefoot and in and out of the house all the time. And um, 
So it's gotten kind of scummy and gross. So yesterday I decided I was going to paint it. My husband took some of the kids to soccer practice, so it was quieter, and I had the two little ones. I had the two-year-old and the four-year-old. And they wanted to play outside, so I set them up with some tempera paints and, and let them do their own painting, and I I had this entire wall of paint in my garage. Hi, Cindy. Takes you four hours to nearest okra. I'm assuming okra is Ikea, because that's what it always autocorrects to on my phone. Hi, Shannon. Do I know if, how do I know the garlic is bad? Um, that one was really obviously bad. It was like mushy and smelled really weird. So I don't know if there's another way to tell. I would just say when garlic is, is good, it smells really pungently, but in a good way. And it's firm. See, I can't smush it. Um, and it's this color. Hi from Port Huron. Where's that? Okay, so I'm putting two garlic cloves in. I'm going to put two more. Anyway, so I've got this whole wall of paint at my house in my garage because I'm a I'm an oops paint addict I um, every time I'm at the Home Depot or Lowe's I always check out the oops paint I was I went to school originally for for studio art specifically painting um, so I can't help myself I don't even paint almost ever anymore but I just can't help myself because you know a dollar for a thing of paint I just have to have it so anyway, I go over to my paint wall and I find this beautiful turquoise and I'm like, this, this is what I want my step stool to be. I'm so excited. I pull it out. I give it a really good shake. I get all set up to paint. Okay, so we've got whole milk, cream cheese, garlic, and I'm going to throw my massive amounts of cilantro in here. And I get all set up and I open the paint and it's like frothy, liquidy, soapy mess. It was disgusting. I thought somebody had played a trick on me and like filled, emptied it, used it, and filled it up with soapy water or something. And then I realized it was just really old because I had it. Some of my paints are really old. Probably moved them from our old house. Um, anyway, so I tried to stir it as best I could and I, I figured I'd try it. And I ended up with this like, ooh, I'm just with this like beachy, I don't know if you guys can tell, it almost looks antique look, which. I mean, it's not really my kind of look, but it was funny because my husband came in and he's like, oh, I like the technique you used. And then, you know, it wasn't on purpose, but it worked out. Anyway, my point is, I'm glad it doesn't look scummy anymore. At least it looks somewhat intentional. And I pulled it, oh, I did, I pulled it out here. Okay, I thought I pulled it out. So I didn't remember to put a link to, the, to this um, Smirk Stick Immersion Blender in the show notes, but I adore this thing. Hi, Mary. Hi, Becky. Hi, Danielle. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite kitchen gadgets. I make a lot of soups and stews and, I'm not stews, I do make a lot of soups, but that's not what I meant to say. I make a lot of soups and sauces. Um, so it's really good for blending and emulsifying. Like if you make your own hollandaise sauce or your own mayonnaise, uh, you can do it in like two seconds with one of these things. Hi, Melissa. Marissa, yes, it's great, isn't it? It's like the best thing ever. I can't believe... When I, um, oh, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I can't believe when I tried it for the first time, I was like, where has this been all my life? I can't, I can't even. It's like ridiculous that I didn't know about it until three or four years ago. So, so yeah. It's kind of my standby new married wedding gift these days. Hi, Trisha. Trish, I'm sorry. I have one also in love. I'm telling you, they're the best. Hi, Chelsea. You love fish tacos. Yay. Okay. So, so I'll tell you a funny story. Well, I'll tell you after I do this because it's going to be loud. All right. Told you I poured in two milk. It's really runny. Normally I start with very little milk and work my way up and I was kind of, um, hi Vince, how are you? You're just a little bit late, no big deal. Hi Stephanie. Um, yeah, normally I start with no milk or very little milk and work my way up and this time I was, ooh, I can do this off the top of my head, but it's fine. It'll still be tasty <clears throat> and it'll, it'll firm up more in the fridge when I put it in the fridge later. I'm just adding a little bit more cream cheese because there's some in the bottom. Anyway, 
I'll tell you my story in just a second, as soon as I blend this again. Oh, I don't know, it's a good, that's a good consistency. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. So, you know, my kids see me go live all the time, and they think it's really exciting. And on Wednesdays, they actually go live with me. Sorry, just looking for a craft, because I'm not prepared. I'm never prepared. I always think I've got everything going, and I, it, it never works out that way. <clears throat> okay. Here's a craft. So, so, my kids see me go live three times a week, and on, hi Alyssa, hi Lizzie from Illinois. So they, and on Wednesdays they actually go live with me, and they love it, they think that they think they're famous. Um, so yay, yay, and we can use this as a dip, as, oh I didn't salt, ooh, that's gonna, let's just pour that back in there and pretend that never happened. Um, so, they totally think they're famous. They think everybody knows them. And so my, my eight and nine year old have been begging me for their own show. Hi Lizzie. Um, potato and beef soup. Ooh, that sounds delicious. So, um, I'm just salting away. So they want their own show. They've been begging for their own show, but I didn't really want to give them a show. Oh, I'm sorry. You hate fish. Brittany, listen, you can totally do this with chicken. It does not have to be fish. You can absolutely 100% do this with chicken. I think fish is tastier personally, but if you don't like fish, then chicken would be the next best thing. Hey, April. I mean, I just said, hey, April. Hey, Constanza, nice to see you again. Um, I love that I'm seeing your faces over and over again, you guys. It's very exciting for me that you're coming back. Anyway, so my kids have been begging me for their own show. And I kind of put them off a little because I don't know, what are they gonna do, you know? A little nervous. So today they ambushed me when I got home um, from running errands, and they they had a whole plan. They were gonna do. Um, hi April. No, it didn't. It not. I'm gonna taste it, but it didn't. A lot didn't come out. I don't think it's gonna be too salty at all. Um, so they ambushed me, and they're like, "We're gonna make um, Pac-Man ghost masks." Mm, no, it's perfect. Not too salty. Um, ooh, it's really good. Uh, yeah, so they, they wanted to make Pac-Man ghost masks, and they knew exactly what they were going to do. They had a plan. So I said, all right. And I set them up on my, on my personal page, because, I mean, really, I didn't know what they were going to do when it came down to it. And they were so funny. They were, um, they did 15 minutes of showing us how to do a craft. Granted, most of it was them standing too close to the camera, and all you saw was, like, a belly. But, um... Man, they were so excited. My nine-year-old pitched my show probably a half a dozen times. He was like, and if you want to see some real cooking, you know, tune in to Mama Loves Food. And they kept, every time they got a viewer, they had like 15 viewers or something total. Um, they'd be like, Mom, there's another viewer. It was so cute. They were so excited about it. So, I told them if they practice and get good and, you know, actually get their faces in the camera, um, maybe one day I'll let them do their own show on the actual page but for now <laughs> not so much but it was really cute to watch okay so we've got our cilantro oh my goodness you guys see this is why you should use the recipe i didn't put the lime in we're gonna just pour this back in again watch me watch me aaron says it was good aaron watched the show it was cute okay look at that this is really really live people and i'm really really flustered tonight i don't know what my deal is i'm gonna grab this lime we're gonna squeeze it in we're going to pretend that didn't happen. We're going to pretend I added everything at once. It's a good thing I was going to say the name of the sauce because it's cilantro garlic lime sauce. Oops. Anyway, looking forward to the Pac-Man sandwiches. Oh, yeah, they announced to everyone that um, next week they're making Pac-Man sandwiches. I have no idea what that means. I don't know what a Pac-Man sandwich is. Somebody told us last week, and I just remembered after I started squeezing, that you're supposed to microwave the lime first before you or I guess all citrus maybe before you um before you squeeze it and you get more juice out so yeah I can't believe when I tasted it I didn't realize there was no lime in there I guess I was just looking for salt and there's not too much salt it's very good 
Hi, Michelle. I'm going to make the refrigerator pickles this weekend. Oh, man. We're already like halfway through ours. My kids are obsessed with them. They're so good. Even my, my six-year-old who swore up and down before I made him try them. Hi, Hala. Hi, Tiffany. Will there be a full recipe? Yes. So the full recipe is linked in the... Um, in the show description or the show notes up at the top. I don't know why I just grabbed that. Um, oh, I know I did. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I know why I grabbed that. I grabbed it so I could taste it and make sure we've got enough lime juice in there. Um, yeah, so the full recipe. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Now we're done with this one. This is our cilantro garlic lime sauce. You can use it as a salad dressing, a sauce, um, a dip, whatever you like. It's, it's inspired by the, um, ooh, there we go. It's inspired by the sauce at Pollo Tropical, if you're familiar with that restaurant. It is not, it's not the same sauce. It doesn't taste like the same sauce. I'm not trying to copycat it. It was just inspired by it. Um, so, yay, that's done. Now let's get our fish ready. And then while the fish is cooking, we can do the guac. And we're good on time. We're only 30 minutes in. We've got another hour. The fish takes almost no time to cook because it's very thin fillets. So I can breathe a little easier right now. Yay. Okay. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Third time's a charm. I know, right? What was that? That was true live TV, right? If this was, uh, if this was edited, I would have cut a lot of that out. We would have been at like five minutes total right now. Anyway, so for those of you wondering what I keep putting back here, this is my compost that desperately needs to be taken out. My eight-year-old did not take it out like he was supposed to. Hi, Michelle, yes, guac. So we're gonna do my total cheater guac. Uh, I thought I had a hair tie on me. Oh, I do. Um, we're gonna do my total cheater guac. It's really super simple. Um, yeah. Hi, Linnea, what kind of fish? So we're just using uh, whiting tonight. You can use any, any mild white fish. Um, grouper is my personal favorite, but I have five kids who like fish, so whiting is the cheaper way to go. Hi, Julie from Georgia. Thank you. I'm so glad you enjoy the show. Hi, Rebecca from Colorado. Oh, I was just in Colorado last week or the week before. I don't know. I'm going to grab a baking sheet out. And I put, um, sorry, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that way. I put links in the show description to most of the stuff I'm using tonight. Yes, I will wash my hands, Valencia. You like to remind, you guys like to remind me and I appreciate that. I will definitely wash my hands. I'm gonna throw this in the recycle. Okay. So we've got our pan and we're gonna do butter and garlic and I'm just gonna use garlic salt today. So we've got that and I'll wash my hands real quick. I was going to sneeze for a minute. Okay. Some salt up my nose. Hi, Nora. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely not the only one that forgets. I'm sure we all do. I know I definitely do. I'm going to scoot over here really quick and just make sure we are being seen. Give me one second. And dun, dun, dun. I try to check in every 15 minutes, but I don't always remember. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Hi, Linnea from North Carolina. Okay. Okay, we're good. And we've got, this is my favorite butter. Yay, so yummy. But you can use any kind of butter. And then I'm going to grab my garlic salt. This is what we use. You can use any kind you like. Hi, Linda from Chi-Town. Hi, Leanne from Arizona. Hi, Maria. And then we've got our whiting. So I'm gonna grab it here. I've had it in my sink in some cool water defrosting. Because I, as always, waited till the last minute to prepare. Just kind of my MO. That's how we do it. Cool. So the kind I bought, I think I just showed you the package, but I'll show you again. It's just uh, fresh frozen whiting fillets really convenient they're inexpensive and they come individually 
freeze wrapped, so you can use as few or many as you want. And I'm going to use the whole package because my kids really like fish. So, hi Valencia, just a friendly reminder. No, I appreciate it. Uh, yes, Lowry's garlic salt is good. I like it. Okay, so we're going to open these. Where's my... Oh, you guys, where is everything tonight? Okay. Scissors, okay. Scissors, scissors. I'm going to open these fish packets. We are going to lay them on the sheet. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Sorry, I know sometimes it's hard. Hi, Chris. How are you from Ecuador? Yay. Okay. It's fine, Danielle. I don't mind the reminders as long as it's not mean. We had somebody in here a few weeks ago that was maybe a little bit less than pleasant. Um, but yeah, friendly reminders okay. It's a good reminder for all of us. It's good to wash your hands. Okay. So, guys, tell me about your week. Did you do anything fun? Were you? At, did you do anything over the weekend? We went down to, I talked about it, I popped on really briefly on Sunday and said hello, but I know I didn't have a big audience because I wasn't on very long. Um, so I will repeat myself. Apologies for those who were watching. I went to um, Miami to visit my brother for his birthday. Well, our whole family did. It was his 31st birthday. And uh, he lives in Miami, which is about four, four and a half hours south of here. Hi, Jenny. Yes, we need margaritas. I know. I should grab a glass of wine. I think I'm going to grab seltzer, though. I actually got seltzer just for the occasion. I'm pretty excited. Just toss that in there. No, I'm not putting that down the drain. It's just sitting at the top. Um, working on the new garden. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I feel like I kind of missed out on gardening here. It's already really, really hot. It was 91 or 92 today. I'm going to fry my seedlings. So I think we're going to wait till next year. I'm having a hard time with this package tonight. I don't know what the deal is. Um, yeah, so we went down to Miami for my brother's birthday on Friday, Friday afternoon, evening. And he took us to Wynwood Kitchen in Miami. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Wynwood District, if you're from Florida. It was really nice. Um, it's like an artsy district. And uh, they had, all the, all the buildings are painted with murals. And it's, it's very, it's very um, artsy. I like artsy stuff. The murals were beautiful. Unique. <laughs> Definitely some interesting, unique stuff. Um... But yeah, what time is it here? It is 9.02 p.m. here. I am in Florida, it is, so it is Eastern time. Anyway, so this Wynwood Kitchen, if you ever get a chance to go there, it was really delicious. Excellent, excellent. And it wasn't crazy expensive. I know Miami tends to be on the very pricey side, and it wasn't. It was, um, it was like $10 a dish. I will say they were tapas dishes, so you needed... You needed to order probably one and a half or two, one and a half or two to make a full meal. Um, so we just ordered a whole bunch and kind of shared around the table. Is this dinner for tonight? No, Amanda, it's not. No, no, no. My kids are in bed. I mean, my husband will eat one probably, but um, no, this is not. My kids had lamb for dinner tonight, which I have got all ready to post on my blog. And I just haven't done it yet because I've been, I said, I think you should deliver some of the food you make to me. Oh. Jillian, I'd love to. Do you live near me? So, uh, yeah, Winwood Kitchen was delicious. We got uh, grilled squid and um, sorry, I should bring my knife block over here. I'm just going to bring my knife block over so I don't keep going out of the window. These are my knives. Had them since we were married 14, 13 years ago. I love them. I love them, love them. They're good knives. They're not crazy expensive knives, but they're good. Um, anyway, so I'm just, right now, melt, I'm going to melt some butter in the microwave. Hi, Carrie. I'm glad you like fish. Uh, we had, so we had um, grilled, calam grilled squid, which was delicious. We had, I keep calling it pokey, but it's not, it wasn't called pokey there, but same kind of thing. You know, the raw fish, and not ceviche. What's the other one? Anyway. Tuna. Tuna, not pokey, whatever the other word is called. I'm going to pour some garlic salt over this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the garlic salt separately. 
Hi Valencia. Early preparations is time consuming, but awesome. Well worth it. Yeah, I know, right? Um, what else was there? We did have ceviche also, shrimp ceviche, which was very yummy. And now I'm blinking. What did I, oh, scallops. The scallops were really good. It's good. I love, I love going to, I need a vacation. That sounds good. Yeah, check it out. It's, it was good. It was yummy. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a drink. My throat's getting dry. And you can see what I got, especially for the occasion. Cerise Limon. I figured it's Spanishy sounding, right? Why garlic salt versus garlic powder? Well, because I would be using garlic powder and salt, so I figured I would go ahead and kill two burns with one stone. But you can absolutely use garlic powder and a little bit of salt if you prefer to do it that way. But I know I like the ratio of um, garlic to salt. Hi, Jamie in Lowry's, so that's why I'm using it. Pokey is a favorite in Guam. I have several friends from there. Very cool. My dad lived in Guam. Did he? I think it was Guam for a while. He's a military brat. So, uh, yeah, he's lived all over the world. I'm pretty sure Guam was one of the places. Okay, so we've got our melted butter. Melted butter. And I'm going to grab a spoon and I'm just going to drizzle it over the fish. It's super easy. Like, ridiculously easy. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Sorry. There we go. I am just drizzling it over the top of the fish. And it's yummy and buttery. <clears throat> and my personal favorite fish to do this with is grouper. But all my kids really like fish and grouper was a little out of my price range tonight. So we're doing whiting, which is also really delicious. And honestly, <clears throat> if you're putting it in a taco with all the other flavors, it's not really worth it to spend the money on a more expensive fish unless you really, really don't like the less expensive fish. So I've got a nice little coating of butter on all those. Hi Valencia, I use garlic salt and garlic powder all the time, same time every day. You certainly can, absolutely. Okay, so I'm just gonna give a little sprinkle of garlic salt over the whole thing. And yeah, grouper's delicious. It's really yummy. Okay, and easy. I find this is kind of how I do all my fish. I mean, not necessarily the same seasoning. You can use garlic salt or blackening seasoning or um, just a little garlic. I mean, just a little salt and pepper. You can use some balsamic, but tonight we're just going to do a little bit of garlic salt. So I'll hold it up so you can see how much I did. Okay, so I'm going to pop it into the oven. I've got it at 425. I can't remember what I put in my blog post, but... Um, I think it's 425. Either way, just as long as you watch it, it'll cook through. And we're going to go ahead and time that for about seven minutes. And we'll, we'll just keep an eye on that. So, I dropped my can earlier, guys. I'm going to try and open it and make sure, I hope it doesn't explode on me. Hi, Debbie. What about tilapia? Yep, tilapia works. Absolutely. We've definitely made it. Uh, Dory, Diane, I'm sending prayers your way. Oh, is something going on? I missed it. I'm sorry, guys. This comments scroll really fast, so if I look away, sometimes I miss things. Diane, I'm sorry if something is not going well for you. You guys, that did not work at all. It kind of reverse opened it. Opened it in the wrong direction. I'm going to use a knife. Dig it out, and then we'll go ahead and get started on our walk, which I'm pretty excited about. I won't lie. This is super ghetto. Look at this can. There we go. I'm going to take that away so I don't hurt myself. There we go. That worked. All right. We have a stray piece of aluminum sticking out. We're going to hide that so I don't need stitches on live Facebook. Go in, go in. Are you guys like regretting tuning in right now? <laughs> Sorry. Today's like, I've said like about two dozen times. Normally, I say amazing all the time. Tonight, I'm saying light. I've been listening to my kids too much. Okay. Live video fun. No joke. Okay. A little bit of a screwed up top, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to grab our... We're going to grab our avocado's out now. It actually kind of works out. All right. I'm going to scroll through because something's going on with Diane. Diane, what's going on? Ooh. I just kicked the 
Diane, need pray prayers for Fort McMurray, Alberta. Oh, wildfires. Diane, I'm so sorry to hear that. We'll keep you in our thoughts. Oh, Aaron, if I put it in a cup, that means we have to wash the cup. So we're just going to drink it out of the gimpy can. No big deal. Yes, that uh, Valencia can opener would have been my uh, would have been my next next trick. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of avocados, and I bought them last week. And I've got my favorite bowl, which is linked up at the top. I bought them last week, thinking I was going to make them last week. So hopefully they're not too overripe. And I'm going to use the edge of this cutting board that I have sullied with our cilantro garlic sauce to open them. And for those of you just tuning in, I'm usually so much better about saying it. I need to take notes from my nine-year-old who said it over and over today Today, when he did his little show. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the show. It's been a little bit of an adventure tonight because I don't know that I have my wits about me completely. Oh, good. These are perfectly ripe. Yay. Um, <clears throat> if this is your first time watching and you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. Right now we're appearing on Spaceships and Laser Beams. Um, Stephanie, who's who owns Spaceship and Laser Beams, and I share back and forth. So you can like this page, like my page, Mama Loves Food, um, either or both. Obviously, I prefer both, but what was in the can? Oh, LaCroix. My, it's just seltzer water. Cerise de Limon. Sounded Spanish, so. Since we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo and making tacos, I figured it was appropriate. I also picked up a Spanish um, wine, but I'm not feeling it tonight. So we're gonna hydrate. I'm still not 100%. Maybe on Thursday. I'm hoping on Thursday. The plan, the plan for Thursday is to make margaritas. So I'm really hoping I'm feeling better because otherwise we're gonna make uh, <laughs> virgin margaritas, which I mean, hey, that could be fun too, right? No big. We'll figure it out. So right now we're making, right now we're making fish tacos. We made cilantro garlic dressing sauce first which was just cilantro, cream cheese, garlic, salt, lime, and whole milk. Although you could use any kind of milk, but I prefer whole. Then we made our, <clears throat> we prepared our fish. I used whiting, but you can use any mild fish. And we put, we put, um, I keep repeating myself tonight. We put butter, melted butter over it, and then sprinkled some garlic salt, and then put it in the oven. Margaritas. The plan is to make margaritas on Thursday. That's the plan. So make sure to subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button so you'll get alerted when we're making margaritas. Um, yeah, so we've got our fish in the oven. Got it at 425 for about seven minutes. So it's going to beep at me soon, actually. Time's flying now. We are at, I can't see it from here. Um, but a lot more than a half an hour, I know that, because I saw half an hour earlier. And now we're making guac. Yay! And last week on Thursday, when we were planning on making all these sauces, um, I made, we got through one sauce, <laughs> I made a fresh pico. So I've got the fresh pico in the fridge and we'll grab that out when we're putting this stuff together. Not cutting out! Yay! I know, I, I haven't seen it go um, wonky uh, in a while, so that's good, right? Maybe, I don't know if my internet's better or your internet's better or Facebook has gotten their stuff together, but... Whatever it is, I'm excited about it. So I am doing, I think I did four, well, let's see, one, two, three, we're doing five avocados, but you can do as many or as few as you want. Hi, Laura. I'll get out and come back. Oh no, Laura, are you having trouble? Yeah, sometimes if you're having trouble, it'll, um, you just need to go in and come out and uh, find us again. You can find us at Mama Loves Food or Spaceships and Laser Beams. We are both places right now. Thanks to the magic of technology. Woohoo! Back. Let me see how it feels. I hope it works. Yay. Hi, Valencia. I never cut my avocados that way. I need to try your method. Oh, nobody ever taught me. I just kind of do it this way. I don't know if this is the right way. Is there a right way to cut avocado avocados? I went to a conference last year. Um, until this year, because not because they didn't want me, but because it moved out of town, um, the Southern Produce Council conference always used to be... In Orlando and I was invited several years in a row to speak to um, 
I say speak, it sounds really professional, but really I was, I was sitting at a table and answering questions to people that walked by um, about blogging and advertising with bloggers and that kind of fun stuff. Um, but when the conference is over, they've got all these, it's not really an, a blogging conference, it's a conference for, um, ooh, there's our fish, I'll check in a second. It's a conference for people who buy produce um, for market, people who shop for markets and that kind of stuff. But anyway, we were we were invited. There were several bloggers that were invited every year for a while to come talk to the people. And at the end of the conference, they let you walk the expo halls, and they just give you bags and bags of fresh produce because they don't need it anymore. Um, is Aaron coming over Thursday? I don't know, Danielle. I don't I don't know what the plan is for Thursday yet. Um, and they give you sometimes they'll give you like gadgets and stuff. So the avocado people gave me this like avocado tool. And I still haven't figured out how to use it because, I mean, a spoon and a knife really works pretty well. But, yeah, apparently there's, like, a special avocado tool. I think I actually gave it away because I couldn't figure it out. I feel really dumb, but it seems easy to do an avocado, right? Got my Ben and & Jerry's and my favorite live stream. Aw, hi! Thank you! Irma, that's so sweet. I love Ben & Jerry's, too. It's delicious. Okay, I'm going to check this fish real quick and see how we're doing. You know it's done when it's flaky, but not dry looking. So let's give it a check. And I took my knives away, so I'm going to come back over here for a fork or a knife. It's amazing how many dishes I go through when I do these. Okay. Let's check and see if these are done. These are done. Nice. Okay, seven minutes was spot on for these. And I, uh, I can't give you an exact time to cook yours because, you know, it just depends on the thickness of the filet. But I, I usually start at five to seven minutes because you're not generally going to undercook them unless they're really tiny filets. So you can see, I'm going to cut it so you can see how it's flaky, but it's not dry. Can you see that? I'm going to put these over here to cool a little bit. Woohoo! And then we'll get working on our guac. I'm going to scoot over and look at these comments. School nights are tough for me. Bobby Shaft. She came out of nowhere. Who? She? Who? Pragma pop the seed at the end and you... Yes. Um, so to tell if an avocado is ripe, and I don't have any more to show you, but I can show you. So I bought mine not ripe because I knew I was going to use them in a few days, not right away. But see the little seed at the end? When you're at the grocery store, pop the seed off and you'll be able to see through to the flesh. And if the flesh is light green, if the flesh looks like this, it's ripe and ready. So we are at, oh my gosh, we're only at 47 minutes. I feel like, I feel like it's going slow tonight. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to clean these up. So, so, so. Do you guys have any, I don't even know how to put it. Ooh, that is really, really cool. I have a thing for Barnes & Noble bags. You know the bags they have? It's basically every season they come out with a new little book tote. Ah, and if you buy... That really needs to be taken out. If you buy like $20 a books or something, you get the bag for a really discounted price. So my son's been reading this series that I would tell you the name of, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Because I'm a good mom like that. Um, anyway, so he ran out, he finished number two in the series and wanted number three, and I had promised him um, I would get it for him. If he was good and read it and whatever. I don't remember exactly what the agreement was, but I said I would get him the book. So I ran over to Barnes & Noble today when I was running errands and we had a sitter so it was just me. What books do you like? I don't know that there's very many books I don't like. I am a reader. Although I haven't read much lately because I've been working so much. But um, I read Ready Player One recently and that was good. I enjoyed that. We're making fish tacos. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting to remind. We're making fish tacos. And I did remember to turn off the stove today. Yay, exciting. Okay. So, every season, uh, Barnes & Noble comes out with a new tote bag, and I, 
I love the tote bags, you guys. I love bags in general, but especially tote bags, I don't know. And usually I can resist, usually I do. I think the last one I bought was two years ago in the summer and it was like this yellow, white fun thing. Have I read The Room? I have not read that one yet. I'm late to the fish tackle party, shoot. Oh, Jill, it's okay, we'll still be on for a little while. I'm gonna chat for a bit. Anyway, so I couldn't resist today. Look at this, isn't this so cute? It's so cute. It's gonna be my new library book bag. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And it comes with this cute little butterfly. And I'm not really into butterflies, but I think I might surprise my four-year-old daughter with it. I'm really excited. Couldn't resist. It's a shame that my husband's with an earshot of that because he's gonna give me the stink eye later for it. Hi, Carolyn. Recommend Colleen Hoover. Ooh, that sounds good. I have not read The Room, though, no. Okay. So for those of you just tuning in, I'm gonna scoot over to the computer for one second and do a quick share because we do have plenty of time right now which is amazing because how are we doing so many things tonight and and on we're running on time when last week on Thursday we were doing one thing we did salsa and we ran out of time they literally Facebook kicked us off I got the big red we're booting you you're done peace out and uh, today we've got time and we're doing three recipes and I don't understand how that happens but I'm gonna scoot over here, I'm gonna give us a little share to make sure that everybody knows we're here. I've learned, you know, so Facebook's been, Facebook Live has been around for a little over, I mean, for the general masses. It's been around for verified fancy pages um, several months now. But for the little people like me, um, it's only been around for about two months. And so they're still working the quirks out and it used to be about two months ago when we first started, month and a half, whatever it was, um, Facebook did a really good job of promoting it for you because they were really excited about the new platform and they wanted everybody to use it and everybody to get excited about it. Sorry, I'm gonna step up for just a second. Um, you know what? I'm gonna grab a fork, but if I can find my potato masher, we'll use that. Um, Anyway, so at the outset when we first started this show, you didn't need to share it over and over again to make sure your audience saw it. You just needed to go live and Facebook basically screamed, I see this is my drawer. Um, basically, Facebook basically screamed from the rooftops that, hey, this person's on live, yay, it's our new platform, come watch. And they don't do that anymore. Unless you have a subscribed, which I strongly suggest you do. Um, and then they'll tell you. But, um, yeah, so that's why you'll see me go to the computer every now and again and hit the share button, just so I can let my people know that we're on. And hopefully they'll join us. Hi, Karen. Will I be making several versions of margaritas on Thursday? That's the plan. I still, if you guys have any margaritas that you love. Okay, I'm just, got my potato masher. I've got my ripe avocados, and we're going to town. Um, Jill says, we made fish tacos on Sunday for lunch. So delicious. I love them. I do. This is one of those recipes that if I have to cook and impress somebody, it's one of the ones that I'll pull out of my hat because it's really simple, um, but a lot, not a lot of people make them. They just don't. I don't know if they're scared of them or what, but they're really easy to make, and they're delicious. So, yeah, this is like one of those... I did it um, when we visited Connecticut and I cooked for my family and they, they all seemed to really like it. It was, it was exciting. 750 people are watching. Hi, 750 people. Oh, so what I was saying is I don't really have any standby margarita recipes except for my friend Stacy makes a kick-ass margarita. And hers has no added sugar. It has no sugar. It's just, and I, I, I think I said this last week, but the first time I'm going to add some lime juice real quick so it doesn't turn on us. You know what? We're going to go ahead and give these a little nuke because somebody told us last week that if you nuke them briefly before you squeeze them, they'll give you more juice. So we're going to go ahead and try that live on camera. Woohoo! Just going to do it for like 20 seconds because my microwave is kind of super powered. So anyway, um, yeah, so, so Stacy came over. She, she actually works in Oaxaca, Mexico. She's an uh, archaeologist. Archaeologist? Did I get that wrong? 
Um, I hope not. Um, anyway, she she works in Oaxaca, Mexico. And so she's got this like totally delicious, amazing margarita recipe. And when she came over, when she came back from Mexico the last time, she came over and said, oh, I, I got this really good tequila. I'm going to make us some margaritas and you're going to love it. And she told me the recipe and I totally crinkled my nose about her because it had no sugar in it, you guys. And who makes... Oh, Laura, I know, Facebook's hiding it lately. I don't know what's going on. So if you're on iPhone, generally it'll pop up in the comments sometimes. Or it'll be, it'll pop up over here in the right-hand corner. Um, okay, I also heard, I've been, I've been cutting my limes this way. I've heard to cut them vertical. So we're going to try that too. We'll see if it works. Um... Anyway, so it had no sugar in it. I was like, how is this going to be good? This is not going to be good. Stacy, you're crazy. You've lost your mind in Mexico. And she hadn't lost her mind. They were so good. They were so good. Anyway, so we're going to try and get that recipe from her. And use that one. And then if you guys have any other ones that you want to see me, let me know. Because um, we're going to try and do a few. And hopefully I won't get too drunk. Because that would be embarrassing. Yeah, keep a lookout for it, Laura. And if you see it, let us know where you see it so we can all be on the lookout for it. Patricia says, also, if you like, if you like, roll them after. Oh, if I, if I roll them first? Okay, we'll try that with the next one. I'm going to do two and I'm going to save the other one um, for the end just to see. I don't want, oh, I see, I just said I was going to do that and I didn't. Okay, we're going to roll them on the counter. Roll, roll, roll. A little bit of lime juice. Uh, it's a disinfectant, right? No big deal. Jill Week says, Laura, subscribe button will pop up at the end of videos. Yeah, um, supposedly it does, but I'm going to be honest with you. I watched one the other day, and it never popped up for me at all. Not at the end, not when I went back for it. I don't, I don't know why. Facebook, come on now. Give us a help. Give us a helping hand. Oop. You want us to use this platform, but you're not making it easy. Okay. Oh, are you able to see? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so that's two lime juices. What? Two lime. Two limes worth of juice. And what did I say? Four? Four or five avocados. The exact recipe is in the link in the show description. So, unless you're like me and don't like real recipes and like to kind of wing it, <laughs> don't base your don't base your own base on, on what I'm doing here because that would be frustrating. But the actual recipe that I have tested and has tried and true is in the show description. So yeah, so we're gonna, and not only, so the reason you add lime is not only for flavor, which yum, I mean obviously for flavor, but also it, um, the acid in it keeps the guac from turning brown, or at least as quickly. And I'll give you a trick at the end for, Danielle says, when I watch it on my iPhone, it pops up at the end of the video. Okay. Tina saw it during the video. Okay. Oh, oh. Heather says it popped up in the comments. Okay, so we're getting all kinds of different stories. So I'm giving it a mix. And I like mine a little bit chunky. So I'm going to leave some of those chunks in. And I'm going to grab it and grab my seasoning packet. I'm going to go grab the seasoning packet real quick. And you guys, you could totally do this the quote-unquote long way. Um, and use garlic and onion, tomato, and I will not judge you. In fact, I will applaud you. And I do that sometimes when I have time, but this is my trick. I use a packet of Italian, good season Italian dressing. And it's yummy. It imparts a lot of flavor. And it works really well. So I'm just going to go over and look at these comments because I can see them coming through. Chop avocados, nicer texture, and guacamole. Lizzie says, I like half from scratch, half from packaged meal. Me too. Put the seed in it to keep from turning. Oh, I've never heard that before. Keep it up. Okay, Jangra, thanks. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this packet. Oh, good seasoning salad dressing mix. And it's just the regular one. You could use the zesty too. But I just grabbed the regular one this time. And I, I don't know why I put that in with my lime. <coughs> Excuse me, I just got pepper up my nose. 
And I'm actually going to use two packets because I used more, more avocados than usual. Alright. So there's one packet in. Uh, so the other trick I was going to tell you, so somebody said leave the leave a pit in it, which I actually already put all my pits in the compost, so we can't do that. But the other trick is, well, there's a couple. You can, when you put it in the fridge, push your cellophane, push a piece of cellophane or, or saran wrap all the way down so it's touching the entire, all the surface area of the guacamole or avocado, if it's just avocado. And you will, it, it won't turn brown. If you don't have, I'm going to step away while I do this because that went right up my nose last time. If you don't have uh, cellophane, you can just pour water over it. Do a, do a thin layer of water that covers the entire surface area of the guacamole. And then when you take it out, just pour the water off the top and give it a little stir. And it'll be perfect. No brown. Or you can be totally lazy like me and just let it turn brown and mix it when it comes back out. I mean, I don't do that for like parties when I have people over, but when it's just for me, eh, whatever. The brown doesn't hurt you, it's just oxidization that won't hurt it. It won't hurt it in the slightest. Anyway, so there's our guac. And I'm gonna set that aside now. And okay, so normally, normally for this recipe, I would use, and I, I don't know that I, I don't know if I put it in the show description. Add a little sour cream. Ooh, that sounds good. Add a little mayo. Go, oh, those are great ideas. Um, Ashley says, yes, leave the pit in. My chef taught us that in class. Oh, good to know. I wish I hadn't thrown my pits away. All right, well, next time. Next time I will know. Um, so yeah, so normally I would use pickled onions. And there's a, I don't know if I put a link at the top, but I did, there is a link in the fish tacos recipe for how to make my pickled red onion. And it's super easy. It's like vinegar, water, salt, sugar, I believe. Um, hi from Trinidad, Sasha, welcome. Red onion rant, right, right, I almost forgot. They're not red, you guys. This is purple, this is purple. I'm gonna say it every time, especially when you guys remind me. Hi, Debbie. Um, so I pulled my mandolin out, you're gonna see me use my mandolin. Ah! If you've tuned in before, you know I hate the mandolin, but I want them really thin because, especially because we didn't pickle them, so they'll have more bite. Um, uh, yeah, so we're gonna use the mandolin. And I'm gonna use that fish, so we're not gonna use that. I use like a billion bowls when I do this show, you guys. I feel bad for my husband because he's so kindly, always offers to do the dishes. And I super appreciate that, dear. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a bowl. Oh, duh, it's right in front of me. My other bowl. And where is the... Oh, where's the beef? Oh, there it is, okay. I've been using my mandolin a lot lately. I'm trying to get more comfortable with it. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but I'm trying. I think this is the skinny side. We'll find out. I don't love my mandolin. I love it because it does really good work. Um, I don't love it because it terrifies me. The, the Vidalia onions, yes, Vidalia onions are good. Um, this is not a Vidalia onion though. But Vidalia onions are delicious and you could totally use those as well. I will be careful. I will try not to shed blood on live Facebook. I keep wanting to call it live television. It is not television. Although I kind of feel like Facebook <clears throat> wants to replace television, so. Wave of the future or something, right? Anyway. So, those of you just tuning in, we're making fish tacos. We, we used whiting. You could use any kind of mild fish, would work just fine. But we chose whiting. Yes, because it's cheap. And I'm cheap. I have lots of kids. And I'm not rich. Work it. Yeah. Hi, Allison. Allison's my buddy. Um, actually, there's a few of my buddies on here tonight. Allison vlogs at Domestic Superhero. She is a very, very, very good cook. I saw Marissa on here before. Marissa. 
uh, blogs at Ray Gun Ramblings, and she does beautiful, um, she does yummy food, but she also does really uh, great crafts and sewing stuff. I don't sew. I'm not good at that. So, I'm trying to think who else I saw. I'm sorry. I really should be doing shout outs, and I always forget. Be careful, Jennifer. I am going to be careful. I'm going to try. Debbie says, I have that same one. Yeah, it's a good one. I think I linked to it up at the top. Um, I like it. I do like it. Okay. Let's see. Is that the thin one? That's the... Is that the thin one? I can't tell. Let's see. Yes, that's the thin one. Look how nice and thin it gets. See? Super thin. So I'm just going to do a few because my kids don't like the yellow, the red onion. What's the drink I keep drinking? Oh, sorry. Just seltzer water. I picked a um, Spanish sounding one in honor of our tacos and Cinco de Trace. Oh, Trace de Mayo. <laughs> Which I thought if you watched me last week, I said I, I fell for that stupid internet meme that was going around or meme, however you say it. Um, that said Cinco de Mayo fell on Taco Tuesday this year, so I was telling everyone. Yay, we're going to make um, tacos on Tuesday for Cinco de Mayo, and turns out it is not Cinco de Mayo. It is Trace de Mayo right now. That's okay, though. It gives us more time to celebrate. So last Thursday, we made fresh salsa pico de gallo, which we'll pull out in a minute to put on our fish tacos. And then tonight, we're making fish tacos with guac and cilantro garlic sauce. So we made our cilantro garlic sauce right here, which is just cilantro, cream cheese, milk, garlic, salt, and lime. And then we blended it up with my handy dandy immersion blender, which I love. Um, it's getting small, so I'm gonna scoot out of the way. And then we made guac. We made cheater guac. We just used uh, lime, fresh avocados, and a packet of dry salad dressing mix. Super easy, really yummy. People ask me for the recipe all the time, and I'm always embarrassed to tell them that it's not, like, totally homemade. Um, yum, salt. I love salt. Salt is so good. And if you watched us from the beginning, you saw me totally screw up the cilantro, cilantro, uh, the cilantro sauce. I forgot the lime, and I forgot the salt, and I had to go back and redo it. But, you know, this is real life, live, it happens. Anyway, so normally I would use pickled onions on this. I mean, don't get me wrong, the thin shaved onions are delicious as well. There's nothing wrong with doing it this way. Actually, I may as well just go ahead and finish these. Um, but I like, I like the tang of the pickled onions, but I did not, I didn't get a chance to make any. I totally forgot. So no big deal. Um, but if you're using straight onions, not pickled onions, I do suggest slicing them very thin the way I am right now, because otherwise they'll have, I mean, unless you really like the bite of an onion, but they will have a bite to it, to them. Am I saying that right? Hi, Joan. How are you? Hi, Crystal. How are you? Hi, Lisette. Oh, Lisette. I haven't seen you in so long. We just, so Lisette was in my mom, in my homeschool group. My kids are homeschooled. And we do a library class on uh, once a week. And Lisette was in my group last year and she moved. And we miss you, Lisette. We just had our end of the year party this weekend, this last week. Okay. So we've got our exceedingly thinly sliced onions now and where are we at we're at an hour and eight. Oh, so we're getting there hi valencia i never thought to put salad dressing mix in my guac yeah it works really well okay so we're gonna get all our pieces we're gonna get a plate and we're gonna do this oh yeah okay so we're gonna do this i have pretty white ikea plates um and then i got if you went to Publix this week you know that basically everything Spanish and Mexican is BOGO, practically. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Um, Shannon says, quit looking at us using that mandolin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made sure that I stopped well before my fingers got near it. Um, okay. So, so flour tortillas were BOGO. So I bought a whole bunch from a freezer. If you, if you've tuned in before, I've talked about my, my freezer. I, um, I like to cook things ahead of time. So I actually have two deep freezers. One is all prepared foods. It's like proteins, chicken, lamb, steak, whatever that I've cooked ahead of time and I can just defrost and have ready to add a little bit of seasoning or whatever to. And then the other one's all raw meat that I get on sale. Those tortillas are on sale at Kroger too. Awesome. Yeah, they're BOGO at Publix. Okay, so we've got, I've got three. I'm gonna make this in my plate for my husband. He's gonna eat them. So 
those of you who watch regularly also know that that beeping is my coffee maker, which is not making coffee. It is making a delicious smell in here. I use it as a wax warmer. <laughs> so instead of candles. Okay, now I got lettuce. I'll get my lettuce out. I'm kind of obsessed with the spring mix lately. You can use whatever you like. My husband really likes spinach, but I think it's really pretty. Yes, I free. That's what I started to say, Shannon. I am. Um, so I bought a ton of tortillas and stuck them in the freezer. We freeze everything. You can freeze pretty much everything. Did you guys know that? You can even freeze milk. Although, don't freeze it if you're planning on using it like in a glass or in your cereal. Can you see what I'm doing? Um, but if you're using it for recipes, um, you can totally freeze it. But I freeze butter, I freeze bread, I freeze obviously all our meats, I freeze soups. I freeze everything. Make I always make a double of whatever I'm making. And and freeze it. Okay, so we've got our spring mix lettuce. Yum. And then if you're paleo or grain free, uh, don't think that you can't make this. Just skip the tortilla, no big deal. Do it in a bowl, have a fish taco bowl. Hi Lizzie, spring mix is the best, isn't it? I like cabbage on my fish tacos. Yes, those are, the cabbage is excellent as well. I agree, we have done that before. Okay, so we've got our, we used whiting. I used fresh frozen and then I thawed it at the beginning of the show. I had just stuck it in my sink in some cool water and it thawed because they've been blazed. So let me show you what we used. We used a package of frozen whiting. Such a nice wife for making his tacos for him. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's probably cursing me for asking him to stay up so late. He's, he likes to go to bed early because he's the best dude ever and gets up with the kids in the morning. My kids get up crazy early. Do your kids get up early? Mine get up so early. Anyway, I'm just cutting these fillets in half so they'll fit in the tacos. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to make sure you can see. Okay, so got about half a fillet per taco. And you can break them up so they fit right. No big deal. They're gonna break apart in your mouth anyway. No biggie, so let's see if we can find one that's the right size. There we go. And we made the fillets with, um, I just did it at 425 in the oven. I melted butter and drizzled butter over the top of them and then sprinkled with a little bit of garlic salt. And 425 for about seven minutes. And it just depends on how thick your fillets are. Shannon says 540, oh my, OMG, my mom froze mayo one time. Oh, I've never tried that, did it work? I remember going to Publix when I lived in Tampa. Yeah, Publix is the best. Where shopping is a pleasure. This is not sponsored. I just love Publix. Okay. So we've got about half or so fillet of whiting for each of these. And somebody asked if you could use tilapia. Absolutely. You can use tilapia. You can use grouper. You can use any kind of mild white fish. You can even use, if you like a drier fish, you could use swordfish. So we've got that. Oh, we forgot the pico. Don't forget the pico. I love this because it's so colorful too. It's such a pretty, which is why I like to make it for guests. It's such a pretty presentation. It's delicious, but it's also really, really pretty. Um, yeah, okay. So this is the pico we made if you watched on Thursday. It smells yummy, yummy, yummy. Can you see? Very good. And um, a lot of people asked about canning it. This is not, this is not truly canned. I did not can this. Uh, canning. Canning makes me uncomfortable just because I'm my dad's convinced me that I'm gonna give the family botulism if I start canning, so I don't. But um, so I'm just putting oh I'm out of the screen again, putting a layer of pico on these. Um, but canning tomatoes or acidic things especially, um, you've got to be really really careful and know what you're doing. I'm not saying don't do it, don't that, don't get that wrong, but um, don't do it on a whim. Like study up on it and because. For some reason, it's harder to, and I don't know the science behind it, but I do know it's harder to safely can acidic fruits and vegetables. Maybe if somebody on here cans, they can tell us why. Ashley says, no, it's separated. <laughs> oh, no. It said on the jar, do not freeze. That's funny. No, I've never tried freezing mayo. I've tried making my own mayo before. Um, I don't generally love homemade mayo, except uh, bacon mayo. <laughs> bacon mayo is delicious. I've got a recipe for it on my site. It's very indulgent, but it is yummy. Okay, so we've got, and yes, I'm touching them, but it's my husband's and he'll live. Okay, 
So, so far we've got flour tortilla, spring mix lettuce, tilapia, garlic, um, butter, baked tilapia, and pico de gallo. And we're going to add my aunt cans, the best tomatoes, so yummy. Oh, so you'll have to ask her, Rebecca. Ask her what the trick is to canning um, acidic foods. Because I know there's something... I don't know if it's an extra step or if it's just uh, being more vigilant or what, because, but I know there is something about canning tomatoes and it's trickier. Okay, we've got our guac. I'm just gonna put a little bit because my husband's not a huge guac fan. I don't know why, it's delicious. I would just eat it with a spoon, but he's, but he like, he'll eat it and stuff, just not a lot. All right, so we're putting, can you guys see? Sorry, I know I keep going out of the screen. Sauce now, sauce is last. Sauce is last. Gotta drizzle it. So, a little bit of guac on each of these. Can you see me? All right. A little bit on this one. Okay. Guac is done. I'm gonna save the rest of this for me because it's delicious. And then we've got our thinly shaved onions, which, like I said, normally I would do pickled onions. Uh, but I didn't have time and I totally forgot and shaved onions work just as well. Hey from Lower Alabama, Roll Tide. Hey, how are you? I'm glad you joined us. We're kind of at the tail end, but if you wanted to watch the whole thing, um, when this is over, Facebook will save it and you can watch it again if you'd like. Okay. All right. So we've got our onions. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. It's so nice. So I learned something this weekend, you guys. I told you, hi Ashley, my fiance is from the islands and he loves this, He would def and he loves fish, he would definitely like, oh, make it for him, it's delicious, it's so good. I have converted many a non-fish taco lover to being fish taco lovers. So I'm just gonna use the bottom, what's at the bottom of this, since my jar is full and I can't add to it. So we're gonna drizzle it on top. Can you guys see, I keep like bellying over the, edge of the counter um yeah and be generous with the cilantro garlic sauce because it's amazing when i made this for my aunt she told me she wanted to drink it it's really that good it really is just excellent and the nice thing is you know if you like less garlic it's it's zingy because you use fresh garlic if you like less garlic you can put less garlic in if you like less cilantro you can put less cilantro in and if we're being totally honest if you don't like cilantro and you just do the cream cheese, garlic, and milk, it's still really good. Um, it, it really is still delicious. So you could do it that way if you don't like cilantro, no biggie. Anyway, so there's our tacos, you guys. Really, really stinking good. Will there be a link to the sauce recipe? Yeah, so if you go up, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not eating grains right now. Um, I'm kind of on a little bit of an elimination diet. So I'm not gonna take a bite in front of you. And please forgive me, but I have made these, like I said, so many times and they're delicious and they're so good. And I'm actually gonna make myself a fish taco bowl after we go off. Um, hi David, it looks really good, but I was wondering how long something like that would take to make. Well, if you're not um, chatting with 500 people while you do it, um, about a half an hour, not very long. Especially if you make up the cilantro garlic sauce the salt and use canned salt ahead and you make use canned salsa and maybe make it <sighs> I'm tripping over my tongue and use either pre-made guac or something you made ahead of time um because the fish cooks in seven minutes it's really quick um walleye would be good I don't know that I've ever had that type of fish um anyway so I'm a little I'm grain free this week so yes over rice over lettuce I'm gonna put mine over lettuce and use the cilantro um, garlic sauce as a dressing and it'll be delicious. I'm looking forward to it So oh somebody asked about the recipe. So the recipe. Hi Marilee. Hi from Texas so If you scroll to the top or I you know, I don't know depending on what device you're looking on um, if you look in the show notes it has the links to um, All the recipes if you click on the fish taco recipe, within the first taco, fish taco recipe, it has a link to the guac, the cilantro garlic sauce, and the pico, but I also listed them individually. So you can go directly or you can go through the other one. Um, hi Wanda from Louisiana. Hi Donna. I'm so glad you're enjoying. Yay. And guys, 
If you're tuning in for the first time, I would love if you hit the subscribe. Um, Facebook keeps moving it around on us, which is super lame. Um, I mean, Facebook, I love you. I love you, Facebook. You're wonderful. But can you substitute anything else for fish? Absolutely, Pragma. Somebody earlier, pra I'm sorry, Pragna. Um, somebody asked earlier, they said they didn't like fish. So grilled chicken or just uh, roasted chicken, uh, rotisserie chicken, any of those would be really, really good. Absolutely. What is my favorite type of fish and how do I look at, like it cooked? And what particular type of fish would you recommend that is healthy? Um, any type of white fish is good in this. It's very good. It's tasty. My personal, get my husband to take a bite. Wes, they want you to come take a bite on camera. Will you do it? He's a little camera shy. We'll see. Oh, he's telling me he doesn't want to eat this late. So I'm going to pack this up for his lunch tomorrow then. <laughs> um, hi, Debbie. I'm so glad you're here. So what was I saying? Oh, what type of fish? Uh, my personal favorite is grouper. That's not true. My personal favorite is Chilean sea bass, which is, oh, Allison, you're so sweet. Allison says I'm gorgeous. Um, I'll take it. I don't you know, whatever. We're all gorgeous. I hope you know that. You guys are all gorgeous. And for those of you who tell me, Oh, you know, I always hear this. I'm, I'm interrupting myself and interrupting myself and interrupting myself. Um, but I keep hearing, I can't get in a swimsuit in front of my kids. I can't get in a swimsuit and go in the pool with my kids. You guys, put on a swimsuit. If you've got a body, you've got a swimsuit body. You're all beautiful, every inch of you. I don't care what you look like. You're gorgeous. Put on a swimsuit and enjoy the time on the beach with your husband, your boyfriend, your kids. Just do it. Allison, come on down. Join me in the kitchen. We can go on live together. Allison's from Domestic Superhero. She's my pal. Um, so types of fish. My favorite, um, just cooking at home, is grouper. I like salmon, but I wouldn't call it my favorite. Um, my favorite out at a restaurant is either ahi tuna, very, very barely cooked, or Chilean sea bass, which is like amazing. Pragna, it is hard, but you just got to get over it and embrace it. You are beautiful. Girl, I got a floppy tummy and cottage cheese on my thighs and I don't care. I will not miss out enjoying the beach and the pool and my kids. Just, you can't, you can't. Anyway, so yeah, those are the kind of fishes. Fishes, right, I homeschool my kids, that's scary. Um, no, 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 there, oh, we lost, I lost you for a minute, ah. Okay, so those are the kind of fish I like. Uh, somebody asked about subscribing, Jill, nice message. Good. I'm glad. Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate it. Talking about my flabby thighs. Um, but they're beautiful flabby thighs. I don't care. They brought five kids into the world. Uh, yeah, so subscribing. Facebook keeps moving it around on us. Um, according to Facebook officially, on iPhones and uh, any Apple device and on your computer, it should be, there should be a subscri subscribe button up here in the top right hand corner and or at the end of the video it should pop up and or it'll pop up in the comments as the comments roll. Donna says keep the videos coming. Yes okay so I'm on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 30 p.m eastern doing cooking shows and then on Wednesdays I am on at 4 p.m eastern doing crafts with my kids. So if you want to feel better about your parenting pop on at four o'clock Eastern on Wednesdays and you will see my kids crawl all over me like monkeys. It's fun, it's crazy. Tomorrow we are going to do stained glass window clings with, um, you know that stuff, you use it in the kitchen actually, like the stickies, not saran wrap, but like the sticky kind of parchment paper-ish stuff and, um, and tissue paper, we're gonna use that. We're gonna make stained glass craft kid things. Uh, my kids, Pragna, my kids are 9, 8, 6, 4, and 2. Is that right? 9, 8, 6, 4, and 2. Yes. Um, David says, I heard the tilapia is good. We like tilapia. Yeah, it's good. I buy it when it goes on sale. I think baked is better for people. Uh, you know, eat it how you like it. I don't think fat is bad. I don't think butter is bad. I think, uh, you know, everything in moderation. So I'm glad you enjoyed it, Vicki. Press and seal. Yes, that's what it's called. Thank you, Jill. So we're going to use press and seal um, to make stained glass window clings tomorrow. So yeah, Tuesday and Thursday, I'm on at 8.30 p.m. I would love if you join me. Hit the subscribe button if you can find it. Like I said, on iPhones, Apple devices, 
it's supposed to be up here or in the comments. Um, hi, Lisette. Thank you so much. Hi, Tina. Um, on Android, it's at the top of the comments. And it seems to be pretty consistent on Android. So I don't know. Android's got something going right. Um, so if you scroll all the way up to the top of the comments on Android, there should be a subscribe option. And then also, allegedly, it pops up when the video is over. And Facebook's about to scream at me and tell me to get off because we're almost at an hour and a half. But I'm impressed with us. We made three recipes tonight, guys. And I don't think, I don't think we've ever gone through that many. Um, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Hi from Mexico. Oh, happy almost Cinco de Mayo. Victor, Victor, we've got like four minutes and counting left. Can you tell us about Cinco de Mayo and what it celebrates? Because we don't know. And I said I was going to look it up, and apparently I'm a liar. Uh, Vicky says it popped up in the comments for her. Yay. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm on 8.30 p.m. Eastern doing easy cooking. On Thursday, we're going to try to do margaritas, and I'll do some um, some virgin, some not, for those of you who drink and don't drink. And we'll do some with sugar and without, for those of you who are sugar-free and not. And what else? Hit subscribe so you can see me come on. On Tuesdays, hi from Ohio, Rodney. On Tuesdays, I come on, I originate from Spaceships and Laser Beams, so go ahead and like the page so you can see us come on. And then on Thursdays, I originate from Mama Loves Food. But if you go to either of those, um, pages, you will see, you should be able to find me. So if you want to be a hundred percent sure you find me, hop over to Mama Loves Food, the Facebook page, and at the top, pinned to the top, you will see last week's salsa recipe, and there should be a subscribe button on there. So if you subscribe to both of them, uh, you will almost definitely see me every time I come on, <laughs> which is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then on David, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Yay, thank you. Um, and then on Saturday or Sunday, I usually pop on for just a really quick five minute, hey, how you doing? Not a recipe, not anything, mostly, you know, pissing and moaning about, you know, first world problems. <laughs> Last week I had a cold, I was cranky about it. Anyway, so I'm gonna say goodnight because uh, Facebook is giving me the big red countdown. And I really, really, really 100%, 1000% appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much and have a great night. I'll see you on Cinco de Mayo.